Je vais prendre un mixte jambon-fromage, finalement. D'accord. Mais euh, on se connaît d'où exactement Excusez-moi, hein, mais je... Ça n'a aucune importance. On a juste couché ensemble. As a struggling young stage actress, Agnes Jaoui faced a common dilemma, a lack of good available roles to play. So she took matters into her own hands and began writing material for herself with her partner, Jean-Pierre Bacri. Over the next 10 years, the writing duo became the most popular screenwriting team in France. Their most recent film, The Taste of Others, marks Jaoui's directorial debut. And here is a clip from the film. No, but it's quand même incroyable que je m'en souvienne pas. It's not grave. Ça arrive. Plus souvent aux garçons, mais ça arrive. C'est normal. On n'est pas constitué physiquement pareil. C'est pas la même action, c'est pas la même euh, implication. Donc, on est tombé. The Taste of Others was the highest grossing comedy in France last year. It is nominated for Best Foreign Film at this year's Academy Awards. Director, screenwriter and actor Agnes Jaoui joins me now for a conversation about this film and other things. Welcome. Good evening. How does it, uh, are you, how was this experience for you? It was a huge one. I mean, um, I was thinking about directing myself uh, for a long time. I was very afraid to do that and, uh, well, I was still afraid this time, but I had the feeling it was a moment to dare to do it. And um, it was more difficult than I think, uh, that I thought. <laughs> um, now I have more admiration for all the directors, even the bad one, because I know how much work it is. But I love that. You, you, but when you began to act, was it a holiday? Because <laughs> <laughs> directing was so difficult because you were in control of all things. So when you just turn to acting, it becomes almost a relief, yes? Exactly, exactly. In fact, I was very afraid to play in, in my own movie. Uh, I hesitated a lot, but uh, I'm first an actress and I couldn't help. And the big surprise was that uh, it was uh, easy, very easy. And uh, as you said, it was like holidays because everything was so new, uh, directing. Suddenly it was a part, a job I knew a little bit because I, I made movies before as an actress. And so it was, uh, and Jean-Pierre Bacry was here also to help me. And uh, in fact, it was not difficult at the opposite. You said, I'm first an actress. Do you think you will remain first an actress or this will become so attractive to you that you'll become a director first and an actress second? No, I, I don't think so. I mean, I, I cannot say for the future in 20 years, I don't mm. know, but um, I, I still feel an actress who is writing, an actress who is now uh, directing, but uh, no, I, I feel I'm an actress first. With the skills that you have, acting, screenwriting, and now directing, will that affect the kinds of movies you want to make or do or be in? Yes. It, 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 I mean, it makes me more demanding. I mean, um, the fact that um, I have a kind of freedom now uh, in terms of money, in terms of uh, everything. I mean, I can wait very good part and uh, uh, so that's, that's sure that uh, I'm, yes, I'm more demanding and I, um, I don't want to make a movie just to make a movie as an actress even. I want to, to really believe in the project. When people refer to Woody Allen mm -hmm. as a role model. <laughs> well, I, I love Woody Allen. He, he, I, um, I grew up with him in a certain way. I mean, I saw his movie every year, and uh, I remember, for example, I saw The Purple Rose of Cairo. I was 13 years old, something yeah. like that. And I cried for four hours after that. You cried? Yes. Why? Because I had the feeling that this man I loved and admired was saying to me and to the other people, of course, that life was less good than cinema and uh, I mean I had the feeling it was the the message I mean the what he wanted to say in this movie and uh, I felt so sad my mother worried 
And uh, well, yes, I had uh, this very, very sad feeling. And very often, uh, when I see this movie, his movies, I have the feeling he is speaking about questions I, I'm asking to myself. So, well. People who watched you in this said it seems as if you said to yourself, Mm. I want to focus on the content of the film. I'm not going to try to be too fancy. Exactly. Exactly. It's exactly that. I, I wanted to... Well, I knew... I knew this... I knew. Yes. I thought the script was good. And uh, I was sure the actors were wonderful. So I wanted to serve them and to be the more uh, discreet. I mean, the more... Uh, no fancy, as you say. I don't want. I didn't want to sh to show my directing because it was my first one. And anyway, I, I thought it was the best way to serve the script, to let the actors uh, uh, give the right rhythm. Tell me that this is a comedy. Mm -hmm. Tell me the story, the narrative. Well, it's a comedy about different milieu and different characters from different milieux. And um, we can say the main character is a, a businessman who is boring in his life, even without knowing it, with no culture, no education. I mean, he's a self-made man like that. And one day he's going to the theater, and um, he doesn't want to go because, uh, well, he thinks he's going to be bored. and. Uh, but suddenly, he has a real revelation. I mean, he falls in love, falls in love with the, the text and with the actress who plays the text. And suddenly, he is like awake, and uh, he wants to, to reach the girl and to, uh, to uh, meet her universe. And, um, well, it, after that, the movie showed the difficulty of that and the, strong, the strength of prejudices that remains even if the barrier seems to be less strong than before. This is a scene where Costello attempts to speak English with his tutor, uh, Clara. Mm -hmm. Did you, do I need to set it up? Mm. Clara is the actress, right. but as uh, she is not a, a very famous actress, she needs to, to uh, give English lessons to uh, to earn money, so that's why. Roll tape, here it is. I am not hungry. Me, I'm angry. About the trouble. What? No, nothing. Nothing. Uh, no, nothing. Nothing. No, nothing. 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 That's great. <laughs> it's making some kind of statement here in its comedy about the rigidity of social mm -hmm. expectations. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm, I think, um, yes, there is still a lot of prejudices, even unconsciously. You know, I'm speaking with you, and um, I know how you are dressed, and you think how I am dressed, and the, the, the words I'm using to speak with you. And unconsciously, you. If, for example, if, if we are in a party, you, you, have, you say to yourself, I'm going to speak with that girl two minutes, uh, and then that, that's all, you know? Because <laughs> you feel that we are not from the same milieu, yeah. you see? Yeah. And very often you stop to that, and you don't uh, look uh, for the, the real human being behind the appearances. Okay. Take a look at this. This is another scene, too, in which is Castella and Clara meet for another lesson in a restaurant as his bodyguard and his chauffeur look on. Same story. Watch this. Le garde du corps de Monsieur Castella. Hmm, garde du corps. Comme c'est marrant. Monsieur Castella, Antoine Bachelard. Vous savez, il vous a pas fait trop peur. Il m'a surpris, disons. But I don't mind being touched by such a handsome guy. What? What do you think it was about this film? That your film, yeah, that made it so successful in France. What do you think struck a chord with the audience, resonated with the audience? Mm, I don't know. First, the fact that uh, it's ten years that uh, I am writing with Jean Pierre, and we um, we have 
an, an audience now who is waiting uh, our movies. That's the first reason. But also, I think everybody has uh, experienced this feeling of being excluded or despised because he has no the, the right tie or the right uh, Oh, I clothes. see. So everybody could identify with it. I think so. I think. By the whether they were dressed well or their teeth were perfect yes, or, or they or looked their exactly right or their hair was right or their taste or, or their manners or all of yes, that. Yes, exactly. Somehow that that made them to be perceived as as not okay. Mm, exactly. Or not meeting a certain yes. magazine standard. Mm, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And therefore they identify with it. Therefore, like a novelist who strikes a chord and everybody says, I see myself in it, mm. people saw themselves in the film or identified with the character. Mm, I guess. Your films are said to be, on the one hand, sophisticated, mm -hmm. and on the other hand, accessible. Mm -hmm. Yes? Do you understand what they mean by that? Yes, I understand perfectly. Sophistication has to do with the humor, or what? I don't know. Um, we're trying to, um, to write the more... Um, Precisely the psychology of the characters, and uh, but um, I don't think about the audience when I'm writing. I just think about what I would like to see as a spectator. And um, but it's true that uh, it reaches a lot of people. And um, in France, they say that it's a, a film popular but from an author, you know? I mean, yeah. it's, uh, well, I don't know. Why did it take you so long to direct? I mean, was it only now that you were ready? I think so. In your head? Yes. To go ahead? It's like a maturation, you know? First, I, I wanted to be an actress. I wanted the author to take charge on me. And then I began to write. But you were first what, a writer? No, an actress. First an actress, and yes. then you became a writer. Yes, exactly. And then you became a director. Yeah. No, I take charge on the others, too. <laughs> and uh, it's like beginning to be an adult, something like that. As a writer, you say that there are certain characters you can't write for yourself. Yeah. Like what? I don't know. I, for Jean-Pierre, uh, it's very easy to write very different uh, parts. And Male and me, female? <laughs> No, I mean for yeah, for male. his character, no, yeah. male. Right. Right. And, uh, but for but, me... But is that the way it works? He writes all the male characters ah, and you no, write all no, the female no. characters? No, no, no. We, we, we write all the characters right. together. We, we do everything together. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, no, I mean, for him, it's very easy to, to write very different parts for, for, I mean, in every movie. But for me... Um, it's always very close to me. I, I don't know why. I uh, I always write characters, yes, who, who, who look like me. Look like you? Yes. <laughs> but do you think people who look like you have a certain character? Sorry? Certain, certain personality? I don't know. But they always look like you in your head. Yes, they are always a, a, a part of me. I mean, Castella is very different from Jean, from Jean Pierre, but yeah. Manny is very close to me. And I each time I'm writing, I, I don't succeed to write for me uh, uh, very different. So things. there must be something similar in every character you write. You. Yes. I mean, they are different, but yes, they are similar, absolutely. Where do you go from here? Not. <laughs> <I'm> sorry? <laughs> what's, what's the next work? Um, we are writing a movie again uh, that I might direct. A and dramatic he acts comedy. In it. He's in it. Jean Pierre. Yes. Yes. And course. you'll be in it. Oh yes. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yes. And and does it have a title? Mm, not not yet. yet. You're not sure. No, I'm not sure. And and have you finished writing it? No, no. I'm. Uh, no, no. We are in the beginning. Uh, not the beginning. We are. Um, Thinking. Yes. Have you? How long will it take you? Uh, every time it's nine months, ten months. And you do it by getting up early in the morning and sitting across from each other on a table? 
Not in the morning. In, okay, when? You're right. <laughs> From 3 o'clock until 7 in the afternoon. So you write every day? Yes. Seven days a week? No. Five days a week? Yes. We can use that. Of course, the French would not work. That's a very American idea, wasn't it? <laughs> totally. <laughs> no, no. We have certain values. In the, <laughs> no. <laughs> we can do <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> you don't touch that. Silly of me <laughs> <laughs> not to <laughs> appreciate the difference. No, but uh, <laughs> we take time to think, to live, to eat. To, yeah, to live and <laughs> eat. And <laughs> A lot of things like that. You know, smell the roses, as they say. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, much success at the Academy Awards with The Taste of Others. Thank you. People talk about the title. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, I've heard that. And, and some don't like it. I cannot say I don't speak in, in English enough well, as you can see, yeah. <laughs> to judge it. But um, I don't It know. fits for you. I mean, I don't know. Because it in French, I, I love the, the, the title, but in English, I, I don't really, uh, I can't judge. I don't speak English well enough to that. Again, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you.